Before I look at the different applications for this model, I will first go through the different steps to create such a statistical shape model. First step is to collect a large database of 3D scans using a digitization technique. To be able to compare them to each other, a correspondence technique is used. After that, a mathematical model is created to express the differences between the different scans and convert it into a statistical human model. This model can be visualized in different ways, for example using a color map where blue means low variation and green represents high variation, projected on the calculated average shape. Digitization is a process of capturing 3D objects, such as the human body, in a digital file format that can be used for design or other purposes. There are many types of digitization methods. There are two main types of 3D scanning that we use at the Faculty of Industrial Design Engineering at the TU Delft. Artec EVA is a versatile handheld scanner that uses non-contact active digitization technique. This scanner projects a safe-to-use structured light on an object to capture its surface. It is relatively cheap, easy to use and captures surfaces at a high resolution. The disadvantage of this method is its sensitivity to lighting and motion artifacts. A human subject needs to stand completely still throughout the scanning process. The other scanning method is the 3DMD full body scanner. This installation captures a human subject from a 360 degrees viewpoint using stereophotogrammetry. A human subject can be captured from many postures rather quickly and even has the ability for 4D scanning, capturing different frames over a length of time. The disadvantage of this technique is the need for experience and tuning. After capturing your model, you are not yet ready to use it for statistical shape analysis. It is likely that a raw scan contains ranges of artifacts, such as holes and spiky edges. Besides that, all your scanned models will have different mesh structures, which makes it impossible to compare them to each other. To link a specific point of one scan to the same anatomical reference of the other, Correspondence technique is used to provide the scans with a similar mesh frame. Now it is possible to match anatomical landmarks, such as the eyes and the tip of the nose. These landmarks are now used to create principal components to form a statistical shape model. This model can be visualized in different ways. For example, using a color map where blue means low variation and green means high variation, projected on the calculated average shape. Once you have your statistical shape model, you can use it for different applications. For example, you can use the data to improve physical mannequins. An example is a study by Roger Ball and Johan Molenbroek at Delft University of Technology who found that the standard helmet sizes are not suitable for Asian heads and proposed a new head shape standard for this different target group. It is also possible to use the statistical shape model to create a virtual avatar of a user or a customer. This can be used to showcase a product in use. A third application is to export the shape model into CAD software and design a product around the model for different sizes or shape categories. This last application can also be done using automated design methods to personalize each product to a unique user, for example in Rhino. One example case is the evaluation of existing mouth guards based on a P5, P50 and P95 heads using DNet models. This study included measures of head width, face length and circumference. A digital model of a mouth guard was created using Clo virtual fashion software and fitted onto those mannequins. 
The blue spots on the illustration represent the touching points of the masks and the mannequin, which gives you an idea of the quality of fit of the masks on those users. If you want to learn more about 3D anthropometry, please watch the full lecture of Don Heismans on the AHFE conference, which is accessible via the DNET forum. Or read about it on the DNET webpage, how it works. Thank you.